up folks, the main man, Dirty Dirty Lance here, or Lucky Lance. You can call me Uncle Lance, whatever you want, but I'm here for your quality views and for your entertainment. Me acting a fool, drinking beer, getting a little drunk, saying things I'm going to regret. Uh, just out here speaking of beer. Oh, did you see that spray everywhere? I hope that got that on camera. That is going, that's going to need a towel. That's going to, let me get a towel here. That's, that's pretty intense. I don't know what's up with this beer, but it is extra, oh, extra nasty, well, extra good, but whatever the case may be, I'm soaked with beer. Now my throat's soaked with beer. That was exciting, let me tell you what. I tell you another thing, I went down to my locals today, I traded in some stuff, I've got like a thousand dollars worth of store credit. But uh, I was down there, and my store, my local, Shane's Big League Sports Cards and more, has been destroyed in terms of Dark World cards. There's almost nothing left. Just the garbage cards, like Cerulli. <laughs> like, who plays Cerulli? It's an interesting card, but I'd never play it. <sighs> but, yeah, all the, ba all the brows are gone. There's, like, just a smattering of random beat-up snows and graphas. <clears throat> shit ton of beiges, but I think most of the ultras are gone. Got a sponsor for y'all. Very proud to have this. Give me $25 to uh, support the packs, support the mortgage, support the beer, support the lighting. You name it, give me $25 to help pay for this, and they get their product out there for like the 30 of you that actually watch this. My sponsor, and this is a new one in town, very uh, popular all of a sudden, it's a Holly's Burn and Pinch Lotion. How many of you have dry skin? I bet you most of you do. Because, you know, you're always writhing your hands together, excited for the next set of Yu-Gi-Oh! Doing whatever you gotta do. Well, it's... I, I got a bottle here. It's the first time. Here we go. Holly's Burn and Pinch. Right there. It's, you know, she's just starting up, so her bottle doesn't look the best, but... Pretty good, a lot better than I could do. She says, Holly here says it's for extra dry skin. If, you know, I don't know, people who make bricks with their hands or people that are too poor to afford sandpaper. Have you ever tried rubbing something out with your hand and just rip the skin off your hand? It sucks. But since she gave me a bottle for free, I might as well try some. Got a... It's got this cat on the back too. I don't know what that's all about. It says meow. It's kind of cute. Looks like looks like the cat's a little bit high or something. It's not looking good. Eh, it's looking all right. I've seen worse. All right, here we go. We're gonna try a little bit. Just get me a little bit here. There we go. That's a smattering right there. Go ahead and put it on my face. Just see how see how it goes. Not that my face is dry. Just gonna. Lather this in, probably get in my hair and my beard, but it's all right. All right, well, I can tell you, I feel a little bit of a burn. That's about it. Man, it's burning pretty good. It's not bad. I don't know why it burns. Don't know about the uh, the pinch though. I don't really feel anything there. But oh, damn, there it was. That was weird. Yeah, it's a little weird, like, it's like the burn intensifies and then it, like, just goes into one spot and burns. It's not really a pinch, but I get where she's going. She's smart as hell. A lot smarter than me. Damn. So, that was just a little bit, so I can imagine how much it would burn if you put the whole damn bottle on. Guys, write in the comments what you think this cat's about. I didn't even know it was here. But go ahead and uh, figure out what's going on with that. Tell me what you think of the artwork. That's not bad. I don't know if that's supposed to be her mascot or just something. It says meow, so it lets you know it's a cat. So thanks, Holly. Really appreciate the $25. Thanks for helping my face stay uh, moist. I guess so. You guys read the video, you know what's going on. It's not one of these blister pack mayhem things from Walmart I do. I went into Walmart, bought a shit ton. Walmart's right next to Chick-fil-A, so after I got done, I went to Chick-fil-A. It's, it's 
almost as good as Jack in the Box. I almost feel bad saying that. Like, I can't believe that's actually happening. That some may rival Jack in the Box when it comes to fast food. You know, McDonald's was always the biggest rivalry to Jack in the Box, in my personal opinion. But now this Chick-fil-A, it's getting up there. I still prefer Jack in the Box because this Jack in the Box is so greasy and good. Plus, I take a scenic route to get to the closest Jack in the Box to me. It's really pretty. So I went into Walmart. I don't remember what else I got, but I always get other things there. I got some blister packs, so let's see what we got here. I got, uh, <clears throat> hang on, these are always tough for me to grab. I got 10 Co the Duelist. Walmart has like 10 trillion of these. Like, when the Co the Duelist first came out, this is all Walmart had. Like, they must have bought, like, they must have accidentally bought, like, instead of 200 cases, they must have bought 2,000 cases. Someone fucked up. Uh, what else do I got here? I got, I got <clears throat> ten packs of Extreme Force. Uh, hoping to get. What do I want? I'll Code of the Duelist. I always want to get Trickstar Reincarnation, even though I know it's on the downward trend because it just got reprinted and it's probably going to get limited in a month or two. Uh, Firewall Dragon's already limited, but I like to get one of those. And Extreme Force. I always like getting the Mech Knight, the purple, purple uh, Nightfall, and Blue Sky. You know, when someone summons Mech Knight Blue Sky, I'm surprised nobody's saying that song yet, Mr. Blue Sky, especially after it was in uh, the second Guardians of the Galaxy as, like, the opening theme. You would think that by now. Maybe someone has to you, but I haven't heard anyone sing it. And then I got, uh... <clears throat> ten packs of Flames of Destruction. Uh... Almost like Symphony of Destruction. That's my favorite Megadeth song. Is that right? Megadeth song, my favorite is... Is it Symphony of Destruction? Peace sells, but who's buying is really good. But yeah, Symphony of Destruction is my favorite. Just like the Pied Piper led rats through the streets. So good. You never hear that song anymore. I'm going to have to look that song up now. And then I also got ten packs... Uh, Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge. Looking for that Golden Castle Stromberg. I would love to pull one of those. I like to get a Topologic Gumblar Dragon, too. Uh, it's not worth a lot or anything. I mean, it's like 12, 13 bucks, but it just to pull one would be awesome. Uh, it's the best card in the set in terms of, like, actual usability. Like, it's a hella good monster. Not as good as Borolo Dragon. I want to make that clear. It's good. Like I said in the last few, it's going to be interesting. Is Borlord going to stick around? Is Boral Sword going to take over? Boral Sword is a, an attack FTK machine. He does 6,000 damage per turn sometimes. It's insane. And I also got one sad, lonely pack of Spirit Warriors. Again, there's no Spirit Monsters in here, so I don't even know why it's called Spirit Warriors. I don't understand that at all. They could have called it almost anything else except Spirit Warriors, and it would have made more sense. They could have called it, like, like Ninjas vs. Guns, because, you know, you got the... Uh, what do they call them? Uh, we got Mas Magical Musketeers, which I don't remember what the hell they were calling OCG now. I don't remember. And then the Six Samurai, Secret Six Samurai. So nin I guess that'd be Samurais versus Guns, which actually was real. It actually happened in real life. I almost drank this Holly's Burn in a pinch lotion. I grabbed that instead of my beer. That would have been a mistake. That would be pretty dumb, because you can't drink this, you know. you got to twist the cap off and be hella stupid, because you don't twist caps off cans of beer. Even though I've seen guys do weird shit. Alright, guys. I'm going to head over yonder. i got to bust these all open, which takes me fucking forever. And uh, that's like my least favorite thing about the blister packs, is so much trash and shit. But I'm always excited, because you don't know what you're going to get. You could be... Get, Tons of secrets and ultras, or you get absolutely nothing, which seems to be happening to me lately. Uh, getting nothing. But last time I did this, I did pretty well. I think I just jinxed myself. But anyways, guys, go ahead over yonder, open them up, and you know what we gotta do? You know what we gotta do? It helped me get through opening all these blisters, to rip them out of cardboard, taking off the security tags. You gotta get drunk! Alright, let's get on in here. Got them all finally done. Took me forever. But it's worth it, I hope. All right, Walmart, don't let me down. Be like Rick Astley. Never let me down. All right, first and only pack of Spirit Warriors. Uh, come on, Magical Musketeer, Casper, Starfire, or Weather Painter. Snow, I think it is? I was going to say Rain. Obviously, it's not Rain. That's a super rare. I don't know why Battleguard Howling's in here. I have no idea. 
Weather Sunny Canvas, Six Shinobi, and Weather Painter Sun. That is not the one. This actually was like kind of a short print from what I remember, but I've only played against Weather Painter like once in real life, and the guy did nothing. <laughs> so I have no idea what happened there. Uh, I played against it once online, it was okay, but I still ravaged the guy. The deck's not that good. Alright, here we go. Ten packs of Relentless Revenge. Really hoping for a Golden Castle Stromberg. Uh, my box was pretty rough. I didn't even get any good reprints, really. Living Fossil. I forgot the secret rares on the top. Alter Geist Manifestation. Nduck. Dark Lord Nastin. Trickstar Narcissus. Man, it's so weird to see the Dark Lords as like ultra rares, not secrets. So bizarre to me. I, I still love their artwork. It's... It's, it's among the best artwork ever produced. I mean, whoever drew these guys in Japan, I hope he got a raise. I hope he got, you know, a good steak or something because he deserves a lot of praise. Continue on. Oh, that's a good one. Dragonic Diagram. That's a good reprint. Gonna stick that down. Unizombie, Unending Nightmare, Warner Magician, Dark Lord Contact. Um, I guess I'll read Dragonic Diagram. You know, I hope everyone knows what it does. Everyone should. This card's a menace. <sighs> okay, it's all true Draco and true King Monster on the field. Gain 300 attack and defense. The first time each tribute summoned true Draco or true King Monster would be destroyed by battle each turn. It is not destroyed. Once per turn, you can destroy one other card you control or in your hand. And if you do, add one true Draco or true King card from your deck to your hand. Super good. Because it destroys. So it works with a lot of decks. Mainly Dinosaur, and somewhat with Cosmo, even though I don't really like it in Cosmo, because you've already got three Cosmo Towns. It's a lot of field spells. Alright, oh, a Monster Reborn, nice, that's a nice reprint. Eater of Millions, another good one. Pyrorax, Elemental Lore, Noble Knight Brothers. Is this the first time it's ever been reprinted outside of a Mega Ten? Probably. Cyframe Gear Driver, or Cyframe Driver, I mean. Really good uh, reprint there. Finally getting an uh, ultra of that. Unizombie is probably the one that deserves it the most to get the uh, high rarity printing. It's been reprinted as a common twice, and it's a hell of a good card. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick the front card on the back, so it's more suspenseful for me. Summon dice, Iron Cage, Alter guys, Hexius, Cyber Larva, and the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. I played a lot of Phantom Knights with Burning Abyss there for a while. I really like that deck. Um, I, Burning Abyss just, I don't think, can function too well. I mean, I know it's still doing good, but with the Link Summoning, they really struggle until they get uh, Cherubi or whatever its name is, which that card's insane. I like how uh, Cybernetic Horizon is not getting any really good Link Monster. It's really weird. Like, each set has imported at least one good Link Monster since the Brains Pack was released in Japan, but Cybernetic Horizon's getting the Gladiator Beast one. That one's terrible. Uh, Rainbow Dark Dragon, Noble Knight Medrot, Duelist Alliance, Raphion the Time Lord, and Orgoth the Relentless. I got the cover monster finally. This is the uh, Duke Devlins. I want to read him because I can't imagine him working. So this is a Dungeon Dice monster in the anime. It was not a card game. It was a dice like Dungeon and Dragons. So I want to read this guy because he's so weird. Uh, once per turn in your main phase, you can roll a six-sided die three times, and this card gains attack and defense equal to the total times three times 103, Jesus, to the end of your opponent's turn, then it, then if two results were the same, apply the appropriate effect. If all three were the same, apply all of these effects. Wow, one or two, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects until the end of your opponent's turn. Three or four, draw two cards. Five or six, this card attack directly this turn. Okay, so if you roll three sixes, it'll go up to 4,300, and... Why all these effects? I'm a little confused about that because it says five or six. I don't know. That's weird. Huh. Oh, wait. Wait, I see. I see. Oh, oh, okay. Apply the appropriate effect. Okay, so if you roll two sixes, you get this card going to attack directly this turn. And he'll be much higher attack. But if you roll all three sixes, you'll get all these effects. Okay, I gotcha. Pretty confusing there. Luckily, I can read. Reading is important in Yu-Gi-Oh. Sometimes I wonder if my opponents can or not. There's about half the time I play where I'm like, can you read this card, sir? All right. Oh, got to put that on the back. 
That's a lot more exciting. Psalm Judgment, nice. Of course, no halos here because it's TCG. That should be lost artwork. There's the uh, second Time Lord, Cephalion. Dark Lord Enchantment, Iron Knight, and Gilf the Phantom Bird. Man, that's an ugly card. Ugh. Discard this card, add one Golden Castle Stromberg from your deck to your hand. I should discard this right now, get it in the next pack, right? Need that Golden Castle Stromberg. I don't even remember that card in the anime. That big bird. I think they just made that shit up. I don't know, I'll have to rewatch those episodes like never again, because I wasn't a big fan of that arc. Solemn Strike, that's so crazy that's in here. Like, wow, that's nice. Solemn Strike. This is the first time it's an Ultra, right? It was Secret Ultimate Super Ultra. Okay, yeah, it is. Uh, Banjo of the Dark Lords, Kyoto Waterfront, Litmus Doom Swordsman, and Tornado Dragon. Really good XYZ monster. Really like the Tornado Dragon. I've summoned it many a time. Yeah. Oh, he's throwing on the back. World Legacy Discovery. I don't know why this card's in here. It's a new card. Litmus Doom Ritual. Cyber Larva. World Legacy's Heart. And oh, I got it! There it is! The Golden Castle of Stromberg! Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. Thank you, Walmart. Fuck yeah! Golden Castle of Stromberg. Oh my god! Woo! Wow! Oh, all right. This is a lot of text I gotta read. This this is like two paragraphs. Uh, once per turn, during your standby phase, you must banish ten cards from the top of your deck face down. This is not optional, or this card is destroyed. During your main phase, you can special summon one monster from your deck that specifically lists the card Golden Castle Stromberg in its text. You cannot normal summon or set this turn to activate this effect even if this card leaves the field you can only use this effect of golden castle of stromberg once per turn when an opponent's monster declares an attack destroy the attacking monster and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack of the monster had on the field so in the anime if i remember right it wasn't banish 10 cards it was your opponent had to send the top 10 cards of their deck to the grave it was their cost not yours which, I can't imagine that being real in the real game. Like, that's that's stupid. Like, imagine if they had that. And it's had some other effects, too. It had, like, six effects, from what I remember right. It couldn't be destroyed. It couldn't be targeted. Um, but its one effect here is the exact same as it was in the anime. You destroy the attacking monster if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half. I think in the anime it was not half. It was just full. But still, what's really cool about this card is it can destroy all monsters your opponent controls if they just keep attacking like an idiot. <laughs> They have five monsters, and they're like, oh, I just want to lose half my life points. Nice. Golden Castle of Stromberg. Very excited to get that. It's not a... Oh, it is a field spell. I was like, whoa, it's not a field, but it is. It is a field spell. Woo! That's a good pull right there. Come on, let me get let me get two of them, or a Topologic Bomber Dragon or something. Preparation of Rites. Ultra. That's the first time it's an Ultra. It's been super twice. Summon Dice. Mycon the Time Lord, Michion, I was to say the Burning Time Lord. Kyoto Waterfront and Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. That's a good secret. I didn't know that was in there. That's a good card, really. I like Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. He was a common. I was always wanting to be a super in an astral pack, but now he's a secret rare, so fuck that idea. Alright, last pack of Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge. Gotta yeah, okay. I was getting a little scared there. Thought maybe. Maybe I was going to do that wrong, but there we go. Last pack. Foolish Burial Goods. Reprinted for the third time in three months, I think. Don't know why. Someone at Konami must really think this car is the most awesome shit ever. And he's like, just put put Foolish Burial Goods in. Because it's like in everything now. Uh, Adotin the Conqueror Star. This is a new card here, I'm pretty sure. What is this thing? What in the hell? Two level five or higher warrior monsters? Does it have anything to do with Golden Castle of Stromberg? No. I, I have to read this card later. I've never seen this card before. Uh, Trickstar Narcissus. Don't know why that's in here. TG Wonder Magician and Infinite Light. Garbage secret. But fuck, I got that Golden Castle of Stromberg. Now that... That's worthy of a hoop and yell and a hop, skip, and a jump. Alright, Code of the Duels. Ten packs of this. Um, going for Trickstar Reincarnation or Firewall Dragon. Uh, I think Spellbook of Knowledge is still worth money, so we'll try and get some of that. 
Chosen by the World Chalice, Dark World Brainwashing. This card's awful. Like, if this was a counter trap, it'd be okay in the new Dark World Danger deck, which is picking up a lot of hype right now. F.A. Sonic Meister, Cybers Wizard, and Imduck the World Chalice, Dragon. Disgusting Turd Carrot, Bank Sigori, Treasure Panda, Supreme Rage, and Disgusting Snake Monster. I wonder how they didn't get sued for that Treasure Panda. It was, I, I guess that's just, you can't really sue because it's too generic. It's obviously they're ripping off Indiana Jones, but I think about it, almost everything's ripped off Indiana Jones. Vendred Revenants has such high hopes for Vendred and they let me down. Backup Secretary, Gogo Aristia, Launcher Commander, another Cyber Wizard, back to back Cyber Wizard, back to the front, really good rare, probably the best rare in this set. Bank Sigori, Supreme Rage, and Beckoned by the World Chalice. Like, World Chalice is good, but it's just too scary to have that many normal monsters in this day and age. I mean, normal monsters just are scary to use. You just open up a handful of normal monsters and you're fucked. Alright. Vice Typhoon, Emerging Emergency Rescue, Rescue, man, that's a long name. World Legacy Heart, and Goki Rematch. This is Goki's only foil card, I want to say, and it's hella good. Blind Obliteration, I really like that name. Transmi Transmission Gear, Trump Panda, Hang On Mock, and I get one of these in every pack, this disgusting Preda Plant monster. I don't like Preda Plants. I actually played them a little bit online. I did like making the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. But other than that, I was like, what the hell? Like, my best card in my deck was a Lure of Darkness, and that's really bad. Like, Lure of Darkness is great, but it shouldn't be the best card in your deck. Another Vendor Revenants, Dark World Brainwashing, Grand Prix, Boogie Trap, another Goki Rematch, and High King Alexander. Supreme Rage, Shalom Shabak, and Transmission Gishin Gear. I said that completely wrong. What's happening in this artwork? I hear the dog snoring. I wonder if y'all can hear that. That dog is song some logs. Happy dog song logs. Yeah, that dog really sauce logs, let me tell you. Emergency, emerging emergency rescue, rescue, galaxy worm, backup secretary, junk breaker, DD, D wave hiking, Caesar, blind obliteration. Harry Knights, which looks like uh, Bo, 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 and Chun Li together. It really does. Treasure Panda and... Ooh, I got both Panda cards from Panda. I saw on uh, OCG they're having a poll where the Yu-Gi-Oh! fans can vote for one of these ten archetypes, which I can't remember all of them, to get a new support card, which is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I, uh, I can't vote, I don't think, but one of the ones they had there was Fire Fist, and I'd vote for Fire Fist. It'd be cool if Fire Fist got a Link monster. You know, probably pretty bad, but Firefist's last support was Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, I want to say. Uh, Jack Wyvern, Ascended of Thunder, Air Cracking Storm, Sonic Meister, Arum, the World Chalice Blade Master, High King Alexander, Supreme Rage, Shalom Sabak, and Transmission Gear. No Ultra or Secret yet from Code the Duelist. Please don't skunk me, Code. Me and you go way back. Way back, Ho the Duelist. World Legacy Heart, Chosen by World Chalice, Dark World Brainwashing, Sonic Meister, Goki Twist Cobra, which seems to be the most common super I get, World Chalice, World Legacy World Chalice, Hang On Mock, Twilight Cloth, Hack Worm, Gross. It looks like a Labyrinth Worm, honestly. Who remembers Labyrinth Worm? Was that an effect monster? I don't think it was. I don't remember. I do not remember. Whoa. If, uh... Ah! Oh! Golden Castle Stromberg, no. Alright, I don't know what that was. What was the fusion monster? Labyrinth Tank. Jack Wyvern, Passing Glider, Galaxy Worm, World Legacy Landmark, Trap Tricks, Mantis, and Blind Obliteration. Orbital Highlander, this card was super popular when it came out, and it was, it's hella good, but it's gone now because there's no 60 card decks anymore. Three Strikes Barrier and Hack Worm. Alright, just two packs left of Code the Duelist. Come on, give me an Ultra Secret. Give me all supers. 
Don't let me down. Walmart, Galaxy Worm, World Legacy Landmarks on Bina. Trickstar Candina. There we go. There's an ultra rare. The boss bitch for Trickstars. World Legacy Discovery. Twilight Twin Dragons, Crown by the World Chows, Hang On Mock, and Twilight Cloth. I think everybody knows what Trickstar Candina does, but I'm going to read her anyways. Man, have you won me a lot of games. Just recycling Trickstar Candina. There's been games where I've played the same tricks, normal summon the same Trickstar Candina like seven times in a game. It's ridiculous how many searches I've gotten off this thing. When this card is normal summon, you can add one Trickstar card from your deck to your hand. Each time your opponent activates a spell or a trap card, inflict 200 damage to them immediately after it resolves. So... Yes, even if Trickstar Candina gets Regekied, your opponent will still take damage because it resolves, burn, then Candina dies. Alright, last pack of Code of the Duelist. Uh, Emerging Mercy Rescue Rescue, Destiny Hero Dangerous, Jack Wyvern, Speedroid, Class and Glider, Mrs. Radiant. I did hear, finally, that uh, the Earth and Light versions of these Link monsters are super rares, so this would be the first super rare since Mrs. Radiant, which is really good. I did not want to play Witch's Apprentice as a rare. It's like, damn it, please be a super, and I guess it is. I haven't seen pictures of it, but I read that it is indeed a super rare, which is really good. I'm excited for that. Witch's Apprentice is hella good. Like, it's really good. Two dark monsters. I mean, you gotta run that shit if you're running a dark deck. Alright, Extreme Force! Uh, I don't remember what's in here. I know the Mech Knights are in here. Is Evenly Matched in this? Probably not. F8 Motorhome Transport, Bit Rooper, F8 Test Run, Zephra, Metaltron, Mythical Beast, Basilic. Oh, yeah, I get a Mythical Beast secret. That'd be cool. Base Garna, Link Belt, Wall Dragon, Green Horizon, and Acute Server. What does Mech Knight Green do? It's the worst one. When attack is declared involving this card and opponent's monster in this card's column. You can target one Mech Knight monster in your graveyard add to your hand. Yeah, it's ass. It's absolutely terrible. No wonder why it's never seen any play. <laughs> That's so bad. It's not even a big monster. 2100 attack. Oh, I just hit the camera like an idiot. Alright, Mahjong Munia Maidens. You can put this in Dark Worlds. Draw one card, then discard, not cost. Tendangle Angel, who would put that in there? My god, that's terrible. Walking at a puppeteer. Oh, there we go. Mech Knight Blue Sky. Mr. Blue Sky. I don't remember the name. I remember how to sing that song. It goes too fast. My favorite ELO song is uh, Don't Bring Me Down. That's the best one. Underclock Taker, which used to be one of the best Link Monsters, and now it like sucks ass and it's terrible. DD Seeker, Lockout Gardener, and World Legacy World Shield. It's pretty rare I see an Underclock Taker now when you got all the, you know, Cerberus. I mean, Underclock Taker still got its purpose because it does point straight down, while Cerberus and um, Phoenix do not, but still, whatever. All right, Mech Knight Blue Sky. There we go. I have to listen to that song now. My favorite ELO song, I think I said, is Don't Bring Me Down. I actually know that one. Right? <laughs> Oh, I remember it's Don't Bring Me Down. Damn it! I failed. Uh, Alright, I'll remember it in a second. If two or more cards in the same column, you can special summon this card from your hand in that column. You can only special summon Mech Knight Blue Sky once per turn this way. If this card is normal or special summon from the hand, you can add Mech Knight monsters with different names except Mech Knight Blue Sky from your deck to your hand equal to the number of opponent's cards in this card's column. You can only use this effect of Mech Knight Blue Sky once per turn. It's the second best Mech Knight. You know, Purple Nightfall is really good because he's got the continuous thing where he banishes, comes back, banishes, comes back. Um, and he's a searcher, too. He's like an Evil Swarm Thunderbird on steroids. All right. Nice. Secure Gardena, Yokozuna Sumo Spirit, Call the Archfiend, and another secret rare, back-to-back -back secrets. I'm in the house. World Legacy Key. Grand Prix, Parallel Port Armor, Underclock Taker, and Link Belt Wall Dragon. Uh, Alright, Inspector Border. This card sees a lot of play sometimes. It's one of those cards that go up and down. You know, like that song, up, down, up, down. Who does that song? Matt something? I know Florida Georgia Line's involved somehow, but they don't sing it. I think they're just there, like, drinking beer. It's a pretty good role to have in a song. Alright, Inspector Border. Cannot be normal or special summon you control a monster. 
Neither can activate monster effects. Neither player can activate monster effects unless the number of monsters effects that player has previously activated this turn is less than the number of monster card types currently on the field. Ritual Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, Pendulum, and Link. If an opponent, if an effects activation was negated, it still counts toward the total for that turn. Only count effects that were activated while this monster was face up on the field. Really good monster, in my opinion. Just so stunny. It's just cancer. Just absolute cancer. Alright, Stream Force coming through. Back to back secrets. Can there be a third secret in a row? Artifact Majolnir. Sign it refresh to Ningle Hound. Oh my god! Three in a row? And it's Saruja Skull Dread? What the? That's the best card in the set! Holy fuck, and it's still from Origin. Boral of Cooling, Leaf Belt, Wall Drain, Grappler, Angu, and Die Dance. Holy fuck, I got the best card! In Extreme Force, Saruja Skull Dread. Currently, I mean, at one point it was Metal Foes, Electromite, but... Damn! Damn! Nice! This is, like, a super good card, too. I rarely have ever made this card, just because I prefer my Boral Load and my Topologic Bomber Dragon, but I have made this card and plussed off it. Um, two plus monsters with different names. Really easy to summon, really. Uh, this card gains effects based on the number of materials used for its link summon. So you get four, you get all four effects. If a monster is normal or special summon to a zone this card points to, that monster gains 300 attack or defense. So I've actually used that against this card. I've actually summoned monsters that only have like, you know, like 2,700. And since but he's pointing towards me, I can get him up to 3,000 off their, his own effect and kill him with it. Uh, three plus, once per turn, you can special summon one monster from your hand. That's really good. And the big effect, four, when this card is link summoned, you can draw four cards and place three cards from your hand to the bottom of your deck in any order. What do they call that in magic? S um, scry. You scry four. <laughs> I guess. It's not, it's not true scrying because you're adding to hand and then shuffling things, or not even shuffling, just placing back in the deck, but... It's as, well, as close to Scry as we've ever gotten here in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm really surprised. Well, no, they do have Scry cards. Spiral uh, uh, Gear Drone Scry's your opponent's deck. Brutally good. Oh, man, that's three secrets in a row. Can there be four? Can there be four secrets in a row? I'm getting greedy. I don't care. Reckless greed. Orange Sunset, Tendangle Intruder, Striping Partner. Oh, what the fuck? What in the fuck's going on? Heavy Metal Foes, Electromite? It's not worth anything anymore, but what in the hell's going on? Ghost Bird of Bewitchment, Underclock Taker, DD Seeker, Lockout Gardener, World Shield. What's happening? That's four in a row. Four secrets in a row. Oh, my God. Like, during Sneak Peek, I don't know if I've ever opened this up on camera, but during Sneak Peek, I got... 30 packs and out of 30 packs I pulled one skull dread and two of these and I didn't even know this was that popular so when I got the two I went and looked and see how much people were buying and selling these for and these were 70 bucks a piece and I had two of them and I had no idea this was this popular but now it's not worth hardly anything probably because Pendulum Magician's been hit hard with the, the band stick as it should this card's still really good it's Perfect for pendulum decks. They need to play this card. If you're playing a pendulum deck, you play this card. Uh, okay, two pendulum monsters. If this card is linked summon, you can add one pendulum monster from your deck to your extra deck face up. Once per turn, you can target one other face up card you control, destroy, then add one face up pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. If a card in your pendulum zone leaves the field, draw one card. You can only use this effect of heavy metal for those electromite once per turn. So the drawing is once per turn. But all the other effects are not hard once per turn. So I, you know, I play against guys that make two heavy metal foes in one turn, and they add two cards to their extra deck. God damn. Five? Can it be five in a row? I need a Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. That would be like, I would get all the best secrets. Just need that Nightfall, because I already got the blue sky, and that's a good ass secret to get too. All right, come on, here we go. Showdown of the Secret Sensei Scroll Striping Partner. Oh, it's an ultra rare, not a secret. Xcode Talker, the cover monster. 
the worst cover monster in a long time. Like it's since since Link monsters have existed, every cover monster has been good, except in the next one coming up, Cyber's Magician is not great. I mean, I think he's okay, but he just you can't make him because he's a ritual monster. You can only use Cyber's monsters, so he's he's a poor choice. He's a great looking card, like one of my favorite artworks in the set, but. Auto Navigator, Recovery Sorcery, Grand Prix, and Die Dance. That's hashtag me too right there. That is inappropriate. I can't believe they printed that artwork. Uh, Xcode Talker. Terrible, terrible monster. Uh, when this card is linked summoned, you can choose unused main monster zones equal to the number of monsters currently in the extra monster zones. Those zones cannot be used while this monster is face up on the field. You can only use this effect of Xcode Talker once per turn. Monsters discard points to gain 500 attack. Also, they cannot be destroyed by card effects. The reason why it's bad is it only takes Cybers monsters. Like, it'd be okay if you could make it with any generic monster, but just Cybers? Cybers just isn't good. I gotta fix my pile here because it's just getting too long. Well, it's not too bad, but I'm moving things over. What a haul out of Extreme Force. Four secrets and an Ultra. And all the secrets are good. I mean, Inspector Border's okay, but damn. Ceruja? Fuck yeah. And I still got four packs left. All right, let's make another Ultra secret. That's five packs in a row that I've managed to get high rarity cards. Ultras are secrets. All right, well, this one's going to bust me. Mujolnir, Secure Guard, no, and there's another Ultra. It's terrible. Mythical Beast, Garuda. Is there any good Ultra? Oh, yeah, Isadel's in here. Master King Archfiend. That's a really good Ultra. FA Auto Navigator, Recovery Sorcerer, FA City Grand Prix, and Die Dance. Again, inappropriate for today. This may have been appropriate just two years ago, but now, that's a lawsuit. That's a loss of your job. All right, Mythical Beast, Garuda. I'd like to get the Mythical Beast secret, too. I forgot about that. Uh, for a reason, these things remind me of uh, Amorphage, which I played against a couple times too. What was a card that was really good? Amorphage Goliath. You build cards in your other pendulum zone. You can target one or spell a trap card on the field. Destroy both it and this card. You can only use the effect of Mythical Beast Garuda once per turn. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card. When the spell resolves, when your opponent normal or special summons a monster, except during the damage, you can remove three spell counters from your field, special summon this card from your hand, then return the opponent's summon monsters to the hand. You can only use this effect of Mythical Beast Garuda once per turn. How many fucking monsters are named Garuda? There's got to be at least four now. All right, that's six packs in a row. Uh, let's see if I can get seven. Seven high rarity cards. Ultras or secrets. Come on. Tendangle Intruder. Karate Spirit. Flame Administrator. Tendangle Delani. And finally, I'd get a super rare. There can only be one. Ghost Bird of Bewitchment. Mech Knight Green Horizon. FA Auto Navigator. And Recovery Sorcery. The fun had to end sometime, folks. The... The beat did not roll on there. All right, Extreme Force. Party's over. Man, Extreme Force. What a showing of power. All right. Karate Spirit, Flame Administrator, Tenningle Delani, Bit Rooper, Power of the Guardians, Mythical Bestiary. I know you know this card's bad by its name. Power of the Guardians, you know that card can't be good. Underclock Taker, Link Belt, Wall Dragon, Acute Cerberus. All right, last pack for Extreme Force. Can we go out on another secret rare with Extreme Force? Come on. How many is that? Six? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six. Let's get a seventh one. Call the Archfiend, Tenangle. Uh, Angel, Watt Connect, Puppeteer, Mahjong, Lunia Maidens, now Curious, Light Sworn, Dominion, which is a good super rare. It's a pretty good card for Light Sworn. Uh, World Legacy Key, DD Seeker, Underclock Taker, and Ghost Trick Renovation. There's the Ghost Trick support. All right, well, that was pretty good from Extreme Force. I don't know if Flames of Destruction uh, can hold a candle to that, but it can if I pull an Infinite Impermanence. <laughs> That card's worth more than all those combined, maybe. Maybe I'm lying a little bit, because there is Saruja in there. I don't know what Saruja is going for right now. Something tells me pretty good. That's the monster that everyone seems to run right now. All right, here we go, Flames of Destruction. Still the newest set for another few days. Shadal Construct, man, that's gross. All the other guys killed Doga, Vendred Nightmare, Trickster Nightshade, Element Saber, Lapula Mana, Trickstar Bouquet. Revendred Evolution, Goki Bear Hug, and Staring Contest. It's actually a short print. 
staring contest is a short print. I should make a video talking about what I think of the secret rares coming out in the next set in Cybernetic Horizon, but I'm not going to because I'm hella lazy. Kendo Spirit, Crystal Keeper, Prompt Thorn, Three Trolling Trodes, tr Trolls, I mean, Element Saber, Nalu, Firefighting, Darmadol. Both those cards are pretty rough. Darmadol's okay. Pixiel, Moonflower Viewing, and Trickstar Bloom. Come on, give me... Am I asking for too much with impermanence? Oh man, my pile just fell. My pile. Uh, I don't think I'm asking too much. Will I cease corruption? Ken Kaiden, Kendo Spirit, F8 Dead Heat, Tendangle Trinity, Rainbow Refraction. I can't believe they changed the name of this card. It was over the rainbow in OCG. Why they changed its name it must have had something to do with Wizard of Oz copyright. F8, F8 Winners. Protron, Transfamiliar, and Yajiro Invader. Very ugly card. Never to see play. I guarantee you that will never see play. Ever. Except by, like, small children. Three Trolling Trolls. Trickstar Nightshade, Red-Haired Hasty Horse. Goki the Master Ogre. Trickstar Light Arena, which nobody's going to play that. Crystal Conclave, Background Dragon, Link stream Streamer, and Goki Bear Hug. All right. Still moving on here. Flames of Destruction. So I only got one high rarity card out of Code the Duelist. And so far I've gotten none. Space Insulator. Good card. Not people know, but it's a good card. Three Trolling Trolls. G Freight Dragon. Element Saber Malehu. An ultra rare. And it's probably the worst ultra rare. FA Overheat. Yajro Invader. Trickstar Mandrake. Cyversal Cyclone. And Background Dragon. All right, the worst ultra, I'm pretty sure. Element Saber Malehu, I think I'm supposed to say his name that way. Once return quick effect, and send one Element Saber monster from your hand to the graveyard and the target. One face-up monster on the field changes the face-down defense position. Once per turn, this card is in the graveyard. You can declare one attribute. This card becomes this card in the graveyard becomes an attribute to the end of this turn. I think it's the biggest one. It's 1,900 attacks, so it can get in there. All right. So I did not get skunked with Flames of Destruction, but I really like it as Secret Rare. At least the ultra I got out of Code of the Duelist is halfway decent. Tenangle Trinity, Prompt Thorn, Three Trolling Trolls, Phosphor Age, the Elemental Lord, and FA Winners. Trickstar Bloom, Insector Picoflania, which... Why did Insectors get a Link Monster? Vendor Daybreak, which is their own version of Evenly Matched. Staring Contest, except good luck getting that card to resolve. I'm gonna fix my pile. Alright, four packs left of Flames of Destruction. Oh well. Space Insulator, Three Trolling Trolls, Defrag Dragon, Element Saber, Lapula Mana. This is the most common super I get. Great Fly. Gross. What a boring name, too, for that monster. Boy Cotton, Altergeist Pixel, Flower Cardian, Moon Flower Viewing, and Trick Trickstar Bloom. Oh, that guy. Man, that dog is really snoring. Probably can't hear it, but man, I'm hearing it. It's just that's where we talk about where you need to get one of them special uh, beds that raise your head. Alter Geist Kildoga, Denangle Trinity, Mechmite Avram, and there it is. See, I tell you, I get this thing all the time. Element Saber, Lapula Mana, and World Legacy Awakens. Huh, that's a weird card. I just read that rare. Limit Code, Yajro Invader, Trickstar Mandrake, and Cybersal Cyclone. Two packs left. Come on, secret. And if I get a secret, it's probably going to be Team Buddy Unite. F.A. Dead Heat, Goku, Goki Octo Stretch, Space Insulator, Altergeist Multifaker. That's pretty good. That's a good ultra rare there. Revenger and Executor. Element Saber Aina, Trickstar Bloom, Link Streamer, and World of Legacies and Nightmare. Which, for a reason, kind of looks like uh, that Revenger card. I just noticed that. All right, Ultra Geist Multifaker. This is a card that made Ultra Geist an actual playable, winnable deck. Uh, if you activate a trap card except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned, you can special summon one Ultra Geist monster from your deck in defense position except Ultra Geist Multifaker. You cannot special summon monsters this turn you activate this effect except Ultra Geist monsters. You can only use each effect of Ultra Geist Multifaker once per turn. Hella good card. Just clog up your field, make a ridiculous Altergeist Link monster, and pluses. All right. Last and final pack. 
I still want a secret. Give it to me. Crystal Keeper, Prompt Thorn, Madolchi Fresh, Sistar, Watch Cat, Nightmare Service. All right, that's a, a good secret. I mean, good super. Seconds Light, Short Print, Waken the Dragon. This card was so hyped for a while, and now I don't see it ever. All right, guys, I'm going to leave. All right, guys, there we go. That's a good-ass haul there. I got the Golden Castle of Stromberg. I got a Ceruja, a Heavy Metal Foes, a uh, Mech Knight Blue Sky, Alder Guys Multi Faker. That was quite the fucking haul. I mean, I didn't expect that at all. Extreme Force. I, I, I almost didn't want to buy the Extreme Force just because, you know, it's like, ah, Extreme Force. Is there anything good left in that? Because I always think about Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. I forgot Ceruja's in there. Uh, evenly matched, I think it's actually Circuit Break, not ex ex uh, Extreme Force, but damn, Walmart came through this time. Mm, that Chick-fil-A I had after it was really empowered this, I think. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified immediately, I've uploaded some quality content. Go ahead that bell icon from the bell tolls, and wherever you're at, you'll be notified instantaneously. I've uploaded some good stuff. Uh, you can see me open up uh, more Sarujas and get super hype and excited and almost shit my pants. Um, really appreciate every view and comment I get from you guys. Go ahead and share these videos if you want to share them, if you're not too embarrassed to show that you actually watch these videos. And uh, I really appreciate everything you guys do. It tickles my heart. Uh, makes me feel welcome and loved on the internet. And I will catch you guys in a couple of days. I got more stuff coming, and I hope you're all excited because I know I'm excited because there's a new set coming, and it's always a happy holiday for me. All right, guys. Catch you in a couple of days. Peace.